In the year 2012! <laughs> you are gonna get sued! Oh, darn it! I've committed SOPA! <laughs> How dare you, you should be burned at the stake. I know. Well, if that's the best case, cake. we can't use the term Hewlett Packard, Google, <laughs> Apple, uh, Mac Pro. We I can't even do this show. This entire show is talking about things that are... <laughs> we, we have destroyed YouTube! <laughs> you know what? That's our first prediction for 2012. SOPA becomes law, and the internet goes offline. <laughs> yep. The end of the digital age. It'll be just like that. Don't copy that flat cap campaign. <laughs> oh... Yeah. <laughs> um, as, as a non-resident BlackBerry user, I couldn't tell you because um, I pay no attention to BlackBerry. <laughs> BlackBerry is useful. I haven't had need myself for it for a while, but when I was doing stuff where I did, it is a godsend. It, it, you, you, you will pry Blackberries from BlackBerry users over their cold, dead bodies. Well, this is why they call the Crackberry. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is the Crackberry. <laughs> well, I did know a former uh, BlackBerry user who was an enterprise user. It was like a consumer that got a BlackBerry, but she replaced it with an iPhone. Okay, do we want to go with having fun with this, like the other prediction we did a second ago, or do we want to do more, um, you know, probable ones? I like the list I put on Google, you know, I, I, for those of you who don't know, I posted a uh, 10 list for Google+, Plus and my, you know, my predictions were Windows 8 will not do so good, and I challenge anybody to think I'm wrong. I think it'll do fine on slate devices. I think nobody is going to want Metro on their desktop. I, I it, there are people who have told me I'm wrong and you know stand up for that. But every single person I know that has tried the Windows 8 beta or or candidate and has tried to use it to do productivity work. has sat there and scratched their head if they're using it on a desktop form factor with a keyboard and mouse and going, what the f expletive? <laughs> it's because the UI is not adaptable. Yeah. Well, and, and, and basically, it. What, what, here's the deal, okay? What Windows is mandating there is that everybody has to create applications for Metro, which they can do because it's going to have a marketplace, but that basically that is for Windows, then they're going to have to make a whole nother application for OS X and other things. And there's a lot of applications now that are cross-platform. And, and, you know, I don't see all these developers sitting there and making a whole nother version just for Microsoft. And the ones that have gone cross-platform, I don't see them, you know, suddenly discontinuing that practice to appease Microsoft. Especially when, well, especially when the majority of their users are going to be on legacy systems where it won't work there either. Because the reality is, I mean, what percentage of systems are guesstimated to be Windows 7 right now? It's less than a fourth. Or it's, a, it's around, the, it's somewhere between 15% and a third. It's not even half the Windows systems out there. Uh, assuming I'm remembering correctly. So most of my XP and all the best <laughs> Yeah, so basically that's going to be the same thing with Windows 8. It's going to be less than half the computers out there. It's going to be to start with when it first comes out for at least that first quarter to year, less than 25%. So basically Microsoft's mandating make software that won't run on 75% of computers. Which is just bad business. It, it, yeah. It, it, this uh, is, well, and ironically, Microsoft's using the thing that has always been in their best interest directly against themselves. 
which you would think of all the companies that would realize that's a bad idea. You would think Microsoft would realize that, considering they've used it to their advantage for so long. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> Do y'all share my sentiments with Mr. Abrams? <laughs> all about the Star Trek movies. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I haven't watched any of. Uh, I haven't watched Abrams Star Trek. <laughs> I didn't know this. They interviewed him. He didn't like Star Trek. The first one, or the, or the, 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 the he didn't yeah. like the Star Trek TV shows. Why the hell is he making them? Yeah, he said that. He said, it my, and they're making more movies. <laughs> you know, the J.J. Abrams, the man who don't like Star Trek, will kill it with another movie. <laughs> well, the last one was pretty good, so I've heard. You know what? Bob, did you like it? Um... I thought it held good to some of the mythos, some, as far as, you know, the Star Trek universe. Um, it consumerized or modernized uh, some of the stuff a little bit better. But overall... Basically what they've done with that is they've been true to our current to, to current physical science. It's it's the best temporal paradox Star Trek has ever done. And they've technically created a third universe. Yeah, However it, it, it. <laughs> it, it, I, I'm I'm done there, because if I go into the however I'm gonna foam at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing! <laughs> Wait, what about any horror movie that has a remake? Is that even better? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the horror fan you ask, I guess. Oh, well, it's going to be the thing, the remake of the thing was a lot better. Oh, anyway, we get off topic here. Okay, do we want to keep going down my list that gets progressively worse, or do we want to just kind of go into the techie one and stick to that? <laughs> uh, what about the iPad? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think this is a prediction we can all agree with. The iPad 3 will be thinner, lighter, and have crappier battery life as it adds needed features. <laughs> and I'm sure the fanboys are going to come out of the woodwork and, you know, tell us, No, no, they will invent a new battery! I have a lot more class about that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to make I want to make a prediction about the iPad 3. Go ahead. The iPad, the iPad will be a good device. It has the SD card slot, USB port, but about, it'll throw away the third big connector. Oh, wait, that won't happen. <laughs> uh, oh, you must be talking about Android tablets. No, or possibly, iPad. or possibly, iPad. if they're rushed, WebOS slates. WebOS Oh. No, I think what they're gonna. There was an announcement at CES. Um, the iPad is Gorilla Glass, if I remember correctly, do they on? I believe so. I know the iPhones do. I believe the iPad does too. Um, there was an announcement at um, CES just recently that Gorilla, the company that makes Gorilla Glass, was coming up with the next version of Gorilla Glass. Uh, supposedly, it's twenty percent thinner. But twice as strong. So, see, that right there <laughs> goes to my prediction. It will be thinner! <laughs> no, wait, it's transparent aluminum. Scotty hasn't come back yet. No, no, he did. <laughs> but the it Matrix was going to take years to figure out. Yes, it's been years already. 
So you're telling me Gorilla Glass is transparent aluminum? Yes. Can someone just reach the Google Wi-Fi and, like, slap Commodore? <laughs> we haven't perfected that technology yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, I don't want you to be in my room. <laughs> I don't think... We, we don't need to beam ourselves into the room, just a hand, so we can... Pfft, yeah. We just, need, we just need the portal gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that works. That'd be cool. Dude, that would be awesome. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, you know that, that would be that would be the best thing we could build into the video setup here. Where like I can reach my hand off frame and it CGs it into one of y'all frames, so we can just have fun with stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll pretend to get hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look, there is a god. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, we could like digitize it where like I stick it in a certain direction and it gets it gets enormous like a god finger and just goes boom. <laughs> Squash Kami like a bug. We're all better off. You know? <laughs> Alright, getting back to the list. <laughs> I you know what? Do either of you think I'm wrong about this one? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diehards will nag all year about ignoring the death of poor Dennis Ritchie. I heard about him off and then I gave up. <laughs> I'm still getting nagged about it. <laughs> there, there's like this movement. They are not going to stop until everybody has a moment of silence for Dennis Ritchie. Did people have a moment of silence for Nikola Tesla? So, whatever. Uh, he contributed a lot. But it, I'm just saying Nikola Tesla versus. Um, I, I know I, I and I know where you're coming from. The reality is the average person. The fact that we've said that name, that they're they're staring at the monitor with like a deer staring, doe staring at headlights, and they're like, okay, you gonna explain who this Richie guy is? <laughs> who <laughs> created Phoenix? Yeah. yeah. And, is he and and the C language, language yeah. <laughs> Uh, those are yeah. the two most notable. They did a lot of stuff, right, actually. Yeah, goodbye, world. <laughs> uh, basically, he was a lot more important than Steve Jobs. Yeah, that's, Jobs that, that's blasphemy to the Mackians. <laughs> <laughs> screw your blasphemy, you screw. Ugh. Okay. But what, he, I don't want to get it. <laughs> no, but unfortunately, he's the one that worked on the stuff that the consumers don't notice. Yeah, he's like Nikola Tesla. Jobs, on the other hand, uh... You know, it's like, yeah, it's he, he, Tesla. <laughs> no, jo Jobs can sell ice to an Eskimo. Oh. <laughs> True. Ketchup popsicle to the woman in the white dress. <laughs> I like that one better. It has a better symmetry. <laughs> I got a few more, but, um, yeah, they're, they're of questionable nature, so. Well, you know, we've already lost our minds. Go for it. Um, I gotta go find it. The, the, they're of questionable political correctness nature. Let's rephrase that. You're gonna have to tell me what they are, but okay, fine. I, since you I think you need to that. censor. Uh, okay, do we want to go into the employment thing and piss everybody off? <laughs> No, I think I'm pissing on people. I don't think you have enough right for me. <laughs> Why do you want to go full out? Uh, no, not really. I don't want to get into the politics. <laughs> Alright. I think it's going to happen. For those of you who are wondering what we're omitting, it's all on my Google+. Plus. I put it all... I, basically, I... I, I have embraced the G plus and I just babble. <laughs> I, I have diarrhea of the mouth on Google and anything that comes into my Google Dom steer I I comment on if it does not suit my uh, particular I just I explain to people why they are wrong. And some of them have debates and some of them bite my head off for it. <laughs> I guess it's better than having a debate on Twitter. <laughs> 
I know he's never going to do it, but I kind of wish Bit would embrace Google+, because one of the great things about the Google+, Plus is when people just go off on a tangential debate, you get to see every comment of both sides, you know, linearly, as opposed to, oh, what did the other guy say? 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 I mean, you get dizzy following a debate on Twitter. You really do. <laughs> That's because you get about 50 million different helper <laughs> Hashtag two, hashtag that, hashtag two, hashtag, really? Well, and then there's the, like, the other guy has their screen private. Yeah. So it's like, what did the other guy say? What did the other guy, blocked! What the? <laughs> I was getting into that debate! No! <laughs> oh. Okay. Getting back to something more on topic. For the last you yadi Technical predictions for 2012. Assuming the world doesn't end. <laughs> well, it could happen just before the world ends because you know, it's going to end on the 12th of December, so, you know, that's 21st. Going to be like, uh, 10 next uh, day. 12, 21, 12, get her right, Cody. Yeah. See, come on, it's it, it's Yule, man. It's supposed to end on Yule. Okay, 12, 21, 12. It's a binary. Actually, no, it's not a binary date. It's an error. It's a trinary date. <laughs> Computers will go trinary so they can process 2012. <laughs> so in theory, we'll get most of the year. We'll, we'll miss the the full year by ten days uh, before everything else. Yeah, but think of the ten days, man. Well, that's going to be on the 31st, so it's going to be like 16 days or 17 days or whatever. I, I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> 21, 31. <laughs> <laughs> we wonder about you sometimes, Kami. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't feel like doing that if it's late, okay? Alrighty. <laughs> well, okay then. Alrighty then. <laughs> Right, we see. We understand you were brought up in the American education system. That's. <laughs> that's <laughs> just me, that, 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 that. And, and this makes me glad I went to a private. We gave for private school. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, my predictions. What? Prediction. Uh, unless we just want to tail off there before we start our foot in our mouth. <laughs> no, why not? We've already. Commodore already made one prediction about the Mac Pro going away. That's true. Yeah. One technical prediction, Kami. Come on. Scratch <laughs> those neurons. Fire them yeah. up. Yeah, I made one about the Mac Pro, but that's what you want. No, no. You need one where you're not intentionally trying to make it provoke. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. So, why is that <laughs> we, we Okay, we tried. We tried. He is, he, he is intent. <laughs> We're, we're going to come back here next time and Kami's going to have no head. <laughs> yeah, Bit has somehow traveled to where Kami is and you know, ripped his leg off. <laughs> and it won't be his fault. He's, yeah, yeah, he's I, I been I provoked. Kami <laughs> got provoked him. Yeah, I got the proxy. Oh, true. <laughs> he might calm down for that. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway. Yeah. No fun. Anyways, Bob. Oh, if I had to give a prediction, seeing how 2011 saw a 50% increase in Linux market share according to NetApps, <laughs> while I take that with a very big grain of salt, given the fact that the don't know their ass from their elbow. I will say there is another 50% increase in Linux market share that is trackable by NetApps. So that okay. could be the one. Uh, no, now I have to now I have to come up with something Dan. Uh, oh wait, I already came up with everything. I came up with the Windows 8, I came up with the Star Trek flop, I came up with the thinner iPad. I've already done mine. No, okay. Um, Android 
I, I, I'm willing to bet by the end of this year, Android market share is going to officially be the predominant platform. And I'm not honestly seeing... Would that be on tablets? Yeah. Or mobile in general? Uh, uh, tablets, mobile in general. Because why the two contenders to it, uh, Windows 8 and WebOS, might get some momentum this year. Yeah, I like how Android does it because Android's fighting not only Apple, Android's fighting Android too. Yeah. You know, like Apple doesn't do that. Apple just fights with everybody else. <laughs> They don't fight with Apple. No, actually they do at the hardware level, but... What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, wait, no, shit. Certain features don't work on past generations of phones. Oh, okay. With OS upgrades. Yeah. So in a way, there's really no difference between Android and iOS in that regard. They're just... Well, right. are you talking about reputation in the Apple market? Oh, God forbid. Oh, uh, fragmentation. Fragmentation. This sh oh, this true? this episode brought to you by Fragmentation. <laughs> and this episode is brought to you by. Go I mean, uh, sorry, I can't say that. Thank you, Sopa. Uh, <laughs> Technically, I shouldn't have done what I did because I'm sure we'll get sued by that foundation who owns that stuff. <laughs> like, okay. There you go. Oh. And they're looking for funding since losing the government. <laughs> and this episode is brought to you by SOPA. We're so here to destroy the internet. That's right. <laughs> We're just helping you along the way. And remember, don't copy that block. <laughs> or that CD or that DVD onto your hard drive can still bits of data. <laughs> and you don't have right to bits of data. You don't own the data. You must lease the data for life and forever. You must sacrifice your firstborn to the SOPA. Well, but what happens when that data is no longer supported? You must buy it all again. Is the EULA still applicable? The EULA will expire. You signed the agreement that the EULA will expire at any opportunity. I don't watch the second season of Gargoyles. The second half of the second season. Oh, you like <laughs> you've, you've killed YouTube! That's protected! You can't say that! <laughs> you just killed YouTube, Kami. Thank, thanks, Kami. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, as y'all can tell, we're just largely having fun this show. Uh, let us know what y'all think about the new format, and, and we mean it. The, uh, we, we want... You know, if you like it, click like. If you hate it, click dislike. G give us the feedback. Give us an idea. Because let's really... Tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell us what we're doing right. Yeah. I mean, the reality is we have le less than 5% uh, of you provide any feedback whatsoever. So we, we really yeah, only hear from... adequate details. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, we hear from the trolls, uh, and that's about it. So we don't know. You know... More comments, more participation. Yeah, I'm not ordering anybody to click the like. There's a reason there's a dislike down there. If you dislike, dislike. That's okay. All right, I think we're off now. Uh huh. And.